Hello the original travelers and welcome to another video. In this one I will show you what you can do in Doolin in the west of Ireland. Uh, it's a really nice village so stay until the end to see a lot of really beautiful nature and uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned to see the best way to explore the cliffs of Moher. This trip started in a very turbulent way because just a day before my flight from Zurich to Dublin I realized that both of my reservations for my hotel in Dublin and for my Airbnb in Doolin were actually not successful. So freshly booked in my new Airbnb with super friendly hosts, I will link it in the description, I embarked on an adventure. Let me show you what is cool to do in Doolin and around in a week. By the way, this is the view from my Airbnb and these were my lovely neighbors. A quick note, if you do want to explore the village, but you're staying a little bit outside, just as in my case, please do rent a bike or a car because it's gonna make your stay much easier and much more convenient. First advice to you would be to enjoy this village in all of its beauty and marvel at all of the great views that you get to see there. One of the impressive features is of course the Dunagor Castle, however it is not accessible to the public unfortunately, still it makes for amazing photos. Apart from nature and beautiful views, what you can enjoy in Doolin are also its shops and pubs. Many of them are actually connected with the Hotel Doolin, in one big building, even though they look like many buildings from the outside. It's a great time on the weekend and this is definitely the place to be if you want to have a party. I will tell you more about what I got to eat and drink in Dooling and around in another video. Two shops worth mentioning and visiting for me were the Irish crafts and the cheese spreads. If you like animals, Dooling is definitely a great destination for you. Here is a compilation of all the beautiful animals I saw. Horses, Donkeys, of course. Many cows. A Lisbon Varna cat. And I like to call these ones the Western Cows. Dulin has also very interesting climate, which allows for plants that we usually don't associate with Ireland to grow there, like palm trees, for example. My next tip for you would be to explore the barren around the ferry port. Like in many places in Doolin, the way to the ferry is actually on a street, so do be careful with the cars. Along the way, you will also see a camping for you to stay at. I thoroughly enjoyed this lunar landscape and I'm sure you will too. However, do be careful around there. There is a special code of conduct of how you should behave around the burren and also do be careful not to fall or to lose anything that's important to you, especially between the stones. There is basically no way to return it. So your phone will definitely be safe if it's packed in your bag. And now please enjoy the view and the sound of the crushing waves. Another great thing to do from Dooling is a day trip to Lisdun Varna. This small village is famous with its mineral water wells, but also with its dating scene. Please make sure to come on time to enjoy some spa procedures or make sure that the wells are working at the moment because some of them might be under construction. I 
had to make a small pause to mention the Burn United and the Burn Smokehouse, which I will talk about more in my next video about food and drinks in and around Doolin. And we finally arrived to the cherry on top, the Cliffs of Moher, one of the main reasons why people would visit Dooling. We all know this view of the cliffs and it is, of course, incredibly beautiful. However, there are better ways to explore it than your usual. For me, this will be the third time to visit the Cliffs of Moher. The previous two times I took a bus tour from Dublin or from Galway, which were very very nice, however, they only give you like about an hour, an hour and a half to explore the cliffs and there is so much more to see. So I would totally recommend you to actually start the walk to the cliffs from Dooling and this way you will be able to experience much more beauty and views that many many of the tourists that visit the cliffs of Moher never ever see. And this is me being a little bit angry but also very very excited about the opportunity to see all of the beauty of the cliffs of Moher. I will clarify a few things about what I said. I'm on a nature adventure here in uh, Doolin in uh, Ireland. Sorry for my sound, I forgot my mic because I was really late for a tour. Uh, this is a no-go here in Doolin. Why is it so? Well, there are no taxis. <laughs> so it's a very small village and you really have to count on your own to be able to make it all here. So uh, it's been an adventure. Now it turned out that I'm late for the tour. However, I was fast enough and uh, luckily I'm able to actually be much in front of my tour. I was thinking I was um, trying to catch the map, but I was actually earlier and now I have to, you know, find a place to sit down and wait for them. So the truth is that there are actually taxis in Doolin. However, you need to plan ahead and they usually take bigger groups because you pay per person. And they are quite often not really in Dooling. They might be in the villages uh, surrounding Dooling or somewhere else at, on the west coast, taking care of a bigger group, which will make it more difficult for you to get a taxi in the moment when you need it. I was super happy to join all these tours to be able to enjoy these views that will forever stay in my mind and I totally recommend it for anyone to experience this. Apart from all these tours, there is also the cliff walk Dooling that may accompany on this great journey. I will link them all in the description, but please keep in mind that actually, apart from one difficult part of the hike, you could actually also do it on your own. It takes about two hours and you will really totally enjoy it, you will be at your own pace and you will be able to take many pictures. However, if you do feel like you're more confident with the guide, please do call these guys and book with them. This is how the start of the walk looks like. You actually should go to the right, the one that doesn't look very allowed but it is okay, uh, you just have to be careful. If you are afraid of heights, there is another alternative route, but it just won't be as scenic. However, on this route, I did explore this one too, you will be able to meet the Claire Jam Shop. More about it in the next video about food and drinks in and around Dooling. Of course, if you don't want to walk for two hours, there is also the possibility to take the bus from Dooling. However, Keep in mind that in this case, you will definitely miss out on some really, really beautiful views. The best way to buy a ticket for the bus will be in the TFI app, which I will also link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow our channel for more adventures. My bonus tip for you is to visit the Aran Islands. They are especially beautiful, there are three of them and I will show you a video about one of them, the smallest one, in each year.